Hi everyone, so it was really requested to do um, some more favourites videos. I haven't done these for a really long time. And um, yeah, we've, I suppose we've been using other other things and different things since Christmas. So I thought I would just round everything up. There's a lot of like household things, food, uh, kids toys, some cosmetics, that sort of thing. So it's a good mixture of things and I'll try and leave everything linked below if you're wondering, um, you know, where to find them. Um, I'm really sorry about the noise. It's just howling winds at the moment. It's literally going straight through the house and it's um, raining really badly. So yeah, not really much I can do about the weather. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the kids stuff. So the first thing that the kids have been playing with an absolute lot recently, and to be honest, they've always loved it, is Duplo. They both have, um, like Violet got a lot of Duplo for Christmas and for her birthday, like some girly, sort of girly Sophia sets and stuff. But also, like, Alistair has had Duplo since he was about the age of two. And both of them absolutely love it. They play with it so much. Um, so we have this little, um, or quite big, basket full in the lounge. And Violet also brings her, like, girly stuff through as well. And they build stuff together. And, I don't know, they just really like it. And it's just, I, I, it's like one of those toys that you just think, I can't get rid of it, even though it's kind of like, kind of babyish, especially like you could say for Alistair's age, he's nearly seven. But honestly, he absolutely loves it. Um, yeah, we have like the farm set, we've got like um, the set with the horses and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we've got quite a few different bits and bobs. Um, but I would highly recommend uh, Duplo for all different, all ages, because the kids just love it and I just don't ever feel like I can ever say right you're not playing with it anymore but honestly they do they absolutely love it so um yeah duplo is definitely one thing they love something that alistair has been loving um he obviously has a 2ds this is what his looks like it's kind of like two screens and his new game that he got for christmas was the um lego jurassic world um in the N nintendo 3ds um, a lot of you actually did question whether it actually worked in the 2DS, but if you if you look up about the 2DS, the 2DS actually plays every single game. Um, it just doesn't play in 3D mode, so you can buy the game, but it just won't play in the specific 3D mode. Um, anyway, he loves the Lego Jurassic World. He's been playing it so much. It's basically his go-to game. He does love his Mario Kart as well. We kind of play with that together. That's quite a fun one. Um, it reminds me of my childhood, but um, he loves this one and it goes up to so many different levels and I don't know, he it's just his go-to game. Yeah, he loves his Nintendo anyway. Violet, one of her new gifts that she got for Christmas was this Play-Doh Sweet Shop set. Um, this kind of looks like a cupcake set um, and yeah, she got this for Christmas. She loves Play-Doh, they absolutely love Play-Doh, both of them actually. Um, but yeah, she's been playing with this a lot, and the um, Play-Doh is actually really, really soft as well. Um, it's not hard, like some, some Play-Dohs go really dry, but this one has been really good. Um, it comes with loads of different accessories, I mean, it comes with five tubs as well of Play-Doh, all different colours. Um, yeah, she's been loving that. So moving on to a couple of cosmetic-y things that I have been loving. So I'm not sure if I've already put this into a favourites before, but I've, I've still got this tub of... Um, all over body cream with argan oil. It's by Superdrug's own brand. And I've nearly run out. I mean, it's getting there. It really is getting there. But it smells amazing. I love the fact that it comes in a really big tub. It's really moisturizing, especially for like this time of year where it's all cold and your skin goes all dry. It smells really good. It's about four pounds. And yeah, I love that. I've been using that. Like I use it practically every time I get out of the shower. I've also been loving my Estee Lauder eye palette set that I showed you already. I'll leave the link to um, where you can buy it or when I was talking about it for close-ups, but basically it's an eyeshadow set. That just fell out. Um, I've been using eyeshadows like crazy a lot constantly since I've had it. So um, yeah, I've absolutely loved that. I, I've only tried one blusher. I think I tried the, the brightest pink. It's quite nice as well. Um, yeah, so I've been loving that myself. And then lastly, a couple of extra things for myself. I've actually got two perfumes that I've been loving. So both of them I got for Christmas. This one I got from Grimm. It's the Modern Muse by Estee Lauder. Just the original. It's really strong. It's quite potent. Um, it's quite a woody smell. Um, I don't know. I'd say it, it just lasts on my skin really, really nicely. I use it mainly for like evenings and weekends. 
um, yeah, I l absolutely love I love the scent. And then this actually, um, well, it sounds crazy out there. Um, this is actually a perfume that my friend got me. It's just by Nex, and it's called Gold. And this is lovely. I've been wearing this like for practically every other day. It's just a really sweet um, fragrance. Really, I don't know. It's just. I don't know really quite it's still quite strong but it's quite it's more floral than the other one um yeah so yeah i've been loving that as well it's just a really nice everyday scent a couple of food items i've been really into just different flavored teas i used to be such a big coffee drinker and i don't know why i i just haven't really been drinking much coffees recently um but i've been using the clipper pear and honey green tea that's probably one of my favorites really really like that i've also been loving the mango that's really nice it's not as nice as the pear and honey but it's still quite sweet and then also which i only got last week are the these are the little tea pigs uh peppermint and licorice these are really nice these are like uber uber strong and i want to try some more because they have loads of different um different flavors out so yeah, I've been loving just different flavoured teas, really. Um, another thing I've really been enjoying is um, using my Chocolate Vegan Protein Powder. Obviously, I've been doing my T25. You could add that to my list, actually, of favourites. I've really enjoyed doing the T25 recently. I'm actually on Beta now, which is the different set, the kind of harder set of the DVDs. Um, and I usually have a protein smoothie after my workout or... Um, you know just any time just a couple times a week I don't have it every single day but just a couple times a week I add a scoop of protein powder to a smoothie and um, yeah this has lasted me ages absolutely ages I got it from Amazon it was on really good price actually it can be quite expensive if you buy it like just on a normal price um, but it says it has no chemicals fillers or artificial ingredients pre and post workout sustainable it just helps to repair your muscles after working out and my house sounds like it's gonna blow away. And then the last two items are kind of like household items. So I'm actually gonna do a separate review. I know I've said it so many times, but I will do one. It's just honestly time. Um, so I've been using my Ninja IQ, which is my basically blender that I go to for smoothies and I've been doing soups in it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It works amazingly. The difference between the IQ and the original is the fact that the IQ actually has buttons and the original doesn't. So you click it in and the original will just go on its own. This one has the blend IQ, which basically does like, I think it's a 40 second blend pulse. So you just press the button and leave it, which I really like. Um, also has a start stop, which you can just start it and just leave it and then stop it whenever you want. It has a pulse and then it also has an ultra blend which gives it a really really hardcore blend like if you want to blend up vegetables or something i've absolutely been loving it you can actually get these on costco really really cheap um but you can also buy them from argos amazon get them from most like, online stores um yeah i've been absolutely loving that and it comes with a couple of these containers this is the largest one it comes with two smaller ones i think um yeah I love that and I will honestly do a separate review because I think it's needed really. And then the last item I have been loving, which you've probably seen in my like, weekly vlogs, is my, this is was kind of like a birthday present. This is my Dyson V6. It's a handheld hoover and actually comes with extra attachments. I might have to get those, but um, basically a handheld hoover, it attaches to the wall. You can kind of just clip it onto your wall and charge it. Um, maybe I should do a separate review because it might be a bit more to talk about. Um, but basically you fill up, it, it fills up through this and you just empty it when it's full. Um, it's just a really lightweight, easy, amazing hoover. I've honestly never had one so powerful. Um, it was on the pricier side. I did actually get £50 off it. So it's originally £249 and I got mine for £200. It was just in the sale. Um... My brother's actually got one. I think that spared me to get one because it's just so good. Um, I think a lot of people worry about the life time it actually lasts, like the battery life. Honestly, I've actually had no problems with the battery life. There is a boost button here, which um, it says max. You probably won't be able to see it. It says max there, and you can press that, and it will just be like, it will just give you the extra boost and extra power when you're going through... Um, 
like really like dirty or just really bitty carpets. Um, I actually don't use the boost button that often because I just feel like it's not necessarily always needed. But the boost button um, on full power like that, it will last apparently approximately six minutes. I think it's six or is it eight? Um, I will leave everything linked below anyway if you really want to have a good read up on it. Um, but again, I've never actually had it run out of battery on me. It lasts really well. I don't necessarily use it like for the whole house. I use it sparingly when I need it and for like in the kitchen and stuff. Um, I still use my trusty Hetty because I just find for like a thorough, really long clean, that's when I pull out my Hetty once a week. But this is great if you've got people coming over and you've got a couple of bit of crumbs, you can just like, honestly, just press it and it's, a, even Violet can use this, it's fab. Um, it it's quite noisy, but you literally just press the button and go. Um, like I said, it has a couple of different attachments as well, which you can use for, you know, just for like around the edges or in the car. That's one reason why I really wanted it as well, because I knew it would be really good in the car. Um, yeah, so I've been loving that as well. So that is pretty much everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some ideas if you're looking for gifts or just if you're like thinking about getting a new smoothie maker. I really love this and I would recommend it. Um, yeah, I will try and link everything below and I will see you all soon.